and welcome back Professor Almeida here today to show you how to install Office 365 on your PC now in a previous video I showed you how to install Windows 10 into a virtual machine and now that we have Windows 10 all set up I'm going to show you how you can get Office 365 now if you are a registered LBCC student Office 365 is free and you can use that subscription as long as you are an active student. To get started, you want to visit office.com, right? You're going to visit office.com. And to log in, you are going to enter your student ID number at lbcc.edu. So if your student ID number is, let's say, 01234567, you would put in 0123456 at lbcc.edu. So it's going to look like an email address. You're going to include your password, and it's the password that you use when you uh, log into Canvas or when you uh, sign up for classes. Okay, so once you're in, you're going to see this dashboard here, and to the right, you should see this Install Office button. What you want to do is click on this button and choose other install options. And what this is going to do is allow you to install the full Office 365 suite. This includes pretty much uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. And uh, if you are taking, let's say, COSA 2, COSA 25, COSA 30, or even COSA 50, you want to make sure that you have access available. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And you just simply click on Install Office. Okay, so uh, we're going to give it a few moments here because the page is still loading. I know the uh, internet has been slow lately with everyone staying at home. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Install Office, and that should get the process going and uh, you just basically follow the steps okay so it's going to take a moment to uh, download the installer and then there it is and then all you just have to do is run the installer and it will do all the rest for you so that's how you can get office 365 set up do allow a couple of minutes for the installation to take place uh, another thing to note is that the installer is uniquely tied to you. So there's no need to register any license keys or anything of that sort because the installer already knows that it's you and it will automatically register uh, under your name. Anyway, that's about all. If this helped you out, smash that like button and we'll talk soon. Thanks for watching.